to another episode of Chocolate and Chip Chat. Today is, as you saw in the title, is a more serious video. Today we are going to discuss how to travel safely in this pandemic and the current update of cases in Trinidad and Tobago, how much deaths thus far. So today, this video is really serious and one you should really take heed to if you are someone who is constantly on the road or just interested in your self and your loved one's safety. So let's get into today's topic on chocolate and chip chat. Let's go. to share if you are someone who is on the road and is traveling every day to go to and from I suggest to keep this virus away from you you should have a few things you should have a few ziploc bags you should have wipes and you should have your hand sanitizer so wipes if you have wipes you can use uh, vodka or even a bottle of ventilated spirits pour it into the wipes and make sure it is totally well saturated into those wipes that alcohol and use that every time you open a door or if you exchange any money with the driver you want to use that and then once you don't wipe your hands you will take out your hand sanitizer and so you give yourself a double clean. So you have your Ziploc bags where you put those wipes that you use to touch. So you have that there. There you will use your hand sanitizer and clean your hand from touching all these things. So every exchange where you open a door or exchange money with the taxi driver, you use your wipes, then you use your hand sanitizer. You get home, take off your clothes, put it in the wash, you take a bath. And you wear your mask, double mask if it's necessary, and you're good to go once you're traveling. Those are tips I would give to you because that's what I would do if I have to be on the road. Okay? I strongly suggest that because you're protecting yourself thoroughly. You have your two masks, you have your wipes, which is saturated with alcohol, and when you're done wiping your hand, you use your hand sanitizers. All right? And let's talk about the current cases in Trinidad and the death. So this is the most recent update as of Wednesday, the 3rd of February, 2021. And this is the number of cases and recovered and dead. So we're not doing too bad, but we could do better. But because we're not following simple instructions, we having this issue still and the most recent cases was found in Arima. All right, so it is really, I mean, it is not terrible, but a life is lost. Lives are lost. So it's still a sad situation. I have said, I have heard persons say, so it's like half of these people I don't even believe died from COVID, but it's like everybody who died now died from COVID. Once you have a sneeze and a fever, you have COVID. 
and in some cases it has proven not to be COVID when they say it's COVID and so that's, that's not even a lie, that's a serious talk and as you have seen a lot of people have recovered, a lot of people are still in hospital but I will say to you, not just my fellow Caribbean brothers and sisters or Trinbit Bonians, this thing easy to combat you know, you know what we have to do? Simple, simple as I said in a previous video. If we all follow simple instructions, where we're going out, we wear our masks, we have sanitized, we keep ourselves clean, this would not continue to spread. But you know, we have those who, that's nonsense, this, that, and the third, I did not follow any rules. This is where we are. That is why the virus will not go. Go in places that you know is you put yourself at risk, you keep doing it. Why? What you going to line for? You really need to line? You're supposed to be having safe distancing. Are we really doing that? It's ridiculous. It's simple. If everybody follow the instructions and all the tips that I just give you when traveling, if you just don't do that when traveling but do it all the time, you have the, you have no problem, you know, people. You would have no problems. Sanitize properly, take your baths, and do that. You would have no problem. But we ignorant and we don't like to follow rules. We're wearing a mask down by the chin. Ah, no. I used to do that in the beginning. We're not accustomed to wearing it. Every time I have to talk, I pull it down. Now I don't even pull it down to talk. If you hear me, you hear me. If you don't hear me, you don't hear me. I cool. You don't want to hear everything I have to say. But I don't even pull down my mask. I will just leave it as is and speak. If you can't hear me, all right. I'll repeat myself once. I'll repeat myself twice. And if you're here any third time, I'll say, all right, forget that. I will not move my mask to speak to you. So people, follow the simple instructions, huh? You're traveling, follow those steps that I just gave you, all right? Wear your mask when you're going out in public. You go to the supermarket, you bring your stuff home, wipe down everything and then put it away. Don't just take it and just have to touch it all over. Because remember, somebody was touching the bags that the grocery was in. Somebody touched the, the container or the, the other bags that the food stuff in so somebody may contact with that so do just touch do just clean the bags that the food come in but clean the bag that the food is inside of clean it down touch you know sanitize it before you decide to open it and use it simple things like that will save you and your family from being hospitalized and suffering great pain and distress all right i hope this video was very helpful and informative to anyone that is listening continue to stay safe and again if you're traveling please follow those simple guidelines it makes total sense and it will save your life and the people around have a good one and thanks for joining and watching another episode of chocolate and chit chat bye